I think it's also important to emphasize that the relief measures that were announced by the, by the Minister of Finance are really very difficult to operate and, in fact, offer very little relief. For example, if you are appealing a valuation, and, and Senator Fraser Bins will speak to this in further detail. If you are appealing a valuation, the law requires that you pay 75% of the assessed value before you can, in fact, have your appeal considered. So that's not really much of a relief. And in the interim, you, interest is running up on the amounts that have been assessed and are not paid, and it takes an inordinately long time. And your, your operations, the predictability of your operations are in doubt as a business. Agricultural producers, many of whom are facing in excess of a 100% increase in the assessed taxes, getting 50% derating means that they are already going to face more than 50% increases, even if they get the derating, which is not certain. So, as I said, the relief measures are certainly uh, inadequate for what is being proposed in this new regime. In desperation, some of the spokesmen for the government are trying to assign blame to the previous administration to suggest that somehow we are responsible for this. I, I, it, it, you know, it, it boggles the mind because really the government in announcing all the good things that we had underway, such as the hotel construction, never assigned responsibility to the PNP for those benefits. And and everything that we didn't do because we were conscious enough to recognize that these measures could not be implemented without more careful consideration. They tried to assign to us and to blame us for their lack of, of effective governance. But let me just point you to the December 15 staff report under the 10th review with the, of the extended fund facility, which came out in December of 2015, two months before the election. This is the last review. On page four, on page nine of that paragraph 14, in talking about the need to improve the efficiency of the tax system and to counter an eroding tax base, the staff report says this, and I quote, the existing property tax should also be modernized. There is no suggestion that there is any benchmark, there is any requirement. It says the existing property tax should also be modernized. It goes on to say, and I quote further, the authorities, meaning the government of the day, are weighing these options and are conscious of minimizing the impact on lower income groups of any tax policy change. They also, they, they the authorities, meaning the government of the day, the PNP government of the day, also noted that frequent changes to tax measures involve sizable compliance costs, especially for small businesses and could erode confidence. 